I, me, have a fantastic early access alpha to the Rogue Trader CRPG Warhammer game by Owlcat Games themselves. Of course, uh, in terms of FTC regulations and all that stuff, uh, I am actually not being paid for any of this. However, they did provide me the key to show it to all of you. So I am not getting money. I am instead getting early access. And truth be told, I, I would I would pay them money to get this early. So, you know, they're the ones who, who had the problem. You're the you, you guys miss, missed out. Let's hit it. Ooh, male or female rogue trader. Uh, we'll do male rogue trader. Uh, we will do a classic. Uh, it was recommended to do normal, so I will hop into normal. And uh, let's see. Wow, this book. Sector. Coronus Expanse, location Von Valencius flagship material, dossier 17 KB on candidate for succession, data compiled by Lo uh, Logai or Logis Servitor in OC 84. Start of dossier. Dossier 17 KB compiled and processed on. Do I hear organs? Um. And processed on the order of the most gracious Lord Captain Theodora Von Valencius. God, these entitled pricks. Candidate satisfies the consanguinity criteria, bears kinship to the Lord Captain in the seventh degree. We just did an episode on, on the Navy too in Adrix. This works. Uh, let's see. To the Lord, uh, so degree from the dy dynastic offshoot in the Scarus sector. Current location of progenitor not specified. Gender, male. Occupation before requisition. Oh, this is my character creation, okay. This is the prettiest goddamn book piece right here. This would be the most metal tattoo if it wasn't so fascist looking, but because, you know, Imperium. Void ship captain in the Imperial Navy. Have great weapon skill, fellowship, and are proficient in persuasion. Offici oh, I can be a commissar? <gasps> Commissars have great weapon skill, willpower, and are proficient in coercion. <laughs> yeah, go proficient's a word. Leader of an unspecified criminal organization. Great ballistic skill, agility, and are proficient in persuasion and awareness. Oh yeah, we're gonna be a commissar, dude. We are gonna be a commissar. Planet of birth and circumstances of early life. Greater fellowship and willpower is skilled in lore and persuasion and becomes a leader. Okay. Feudal world is, is very tough, perceptive, very good melee combat fighter. You've got... Uh, yep, tech use, Medicaid, and logics, uh, because of an adept, uh, single target damage, or fortress world, greater agility, perception, and willpower, and skill in demolition, Medicaid, and awareness, and becomes a soldier. If I'm a commissar, I'm gonna go with the imperial world. Insane persuasion, um, leader power, and, 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 uh, and fellowship, like, willpower. It, it sounds like the good one. All right. At the Lord Captain's request, the most significant episode in the candidate's biography that demonstrates his personal qualities and performance under pressure has been highlighted. Based on the collection of data, this is items received plasma pistol, Mwah. rogue trader's cloak, and a sword. Just sword, not power sword, just sword. Uprising of the eighth city of the hive world and attacked by a pirate armada, a major criminal incident involving void ships. Uprising in a hive city. That sounds like a pretty good plate for a commissar to do his duty. The peasant uprising provoked by the latest lowering of the, min uh, this music is so good. By the latest lowering of the minimum age for manufacturer workers <laughs> spread throughout most of the spire of the central hive city. Imperial forces arrived too late to extinguish the flame of rebellion. However, the Astra Militarum succeeded in blockading the rogue hive. The candidate was participating in the ground operation when an order came down from the high command to storm, storm, storm the underhive, the best protected and most dangerous part of the city. Approaching the contact line, the candidate dispatched recruits to the barricades in a hive tunnels, personally executing anyone who displayed fear or doubt. The regiment suffered massive losses, but it was the first to penetrate the besieged city. 
personally led the attack, inspiring the guards by his own example to fulfill their duty to the God Emperor. The regiment displayed unprecedented bravery in the face of mortal danger, although the higher ranks did not approve of the unwarranted risk. I I'm going, so, so we've got classic Commissar and we have Ibram Gaunt, and I'm gonna go with Ibram Gaunt. Notable qualities exhibited when acting in difficult or ambiguous circumstances. Personal courage. Fearlessness in the face of an enemy's superior numbers. Willingness to sacrifice oneself in the name of the God Emperor. The qualities exhibited are deemed to be valuable and desirable in the potential successor of the Lord Captain. The candidate's profile has been deemed worthy of submission to the most gracious Lord Captain for further appraisal. With regard to the requisition of the candidate from his current position to serve the needs of the illustrious Von Valencius dynasty, the final decision rests with the most gracious Lord Captain. End of dossier. Several weeks have passed since the day Theodora Von Valencius perished. On that ill-fated date, the rogue trader's void ship was attacked by madmen, hungry to capture the dynasty's prized possession, the Warrant of Trade. Oh, cool. It grants not only the permission to go beyond the Imperium's borders, but to deal with pirates, mutants, or Xenos if needed. The rogue trader's use of the Warrant to conquer or colonize newly discovered planets gain exclusive trade rights so, so it's, bas it's basically the rogue trader version of an inquisitorial rosette. Basically, like, you can do a lot of stuff. Fortunately for the thousands of lives who depend on the production of their master, Lady Theodora's heir and now ruling Von Valencius, Lord Rogue Trader, fought off the villains and protected the dynasty's sacred relic. In his efforts to carry out Lady Theodora's last assignment, Rogue Trader came up against a monstrous plot, which ultimately led to the death of the Imperial world, Rykad Minoris. By the God Emperor's will alone did the Rogue Trader escape with his life, when Rykad's, Praetor Rykad's, <laughs> together, star mysteriously vanished, leaving cold darkness in its wake. One last desperate push, and the Imperium's mantle hid the fleeing souls from the pursuing enemy. However, testing trials still lie ahead. After several weeks in the warp, the rogue trader found himself on the fringes of his trade empire, amidst scattering world, scattered worlds now lost in the cold void. At the whim of the roiling warp, the Lord Captain must forge new routes to planets conquered in the past and fulfill one of the covenants of the Warrant of Trade to restore what has been lost. Oh my god. Our journey through the warp is coming to an end. Lady Navigator Orcelio informs me that we have reached the point where we can translate to real space in the Ferabunda system. The Lady Navigator and her pilots are awaiting your permission to begin the process. Ferabunda system is home to Footfall, the only Imperium outpost. Uh, with a function wharf in the Coronis Expanse, the tech priests are begging you to have mercy on the machines worn down by the warp to allow the servants of the Omnissia to heal the void ship's wounds in the dock. The prayers and rituals will take a few days, which our astropathic choir will use to establish connection with the prime worlds of your trade empire, Darganus, Yanis, and Kiavagama. We have already received a message that was previously adrift in the Immaterium. Master Zachary Bais has reported receiving an invitation at the Liege of Footfall humbly requests an audience with the rogue trader of the Von Valencius dynasty. According to the Master Zachary, the message was tinted with shades of pleading. I quote, Apparently, the Liege is anxious to meet as soon as possible. Yo, a Sororitas is here. Oh, I okay. I, I, I actually I should probably be looking up here. So we, we've got ourselves a fancy fancy tech priest that looked like some kind of augmented, maybe servant or maybe not. Uh, there's a a sister of battle. Okay, named Argenta, or who is um kind of bad though. Footfall, the the place where sin and sanctity go hand in hand. Reverend Ir Ironimus Doloroso. Most likely expect a visit from me. I imagine you'll be interested in talking to you as well, Rogue Trader. Heinrichs, 
We'll be leaving your voyage. I just assume German. I'll, uh, I'll be leaving your voyage when we arrive at Footfall Rogue Trader. Once that is done, consider the Lord Inquisitor's task complete. But before I leave you, Rogue Trader, Henrix produces a small device wrapped in velvet. I was supposed to deliver this to Lady Theodora, but considering the circumstances, I am giving it to you. This is an elucidator, a sacred machine that can translate the languages of distant and lost worlds to Imperial Gothic. Ah, ah, excellent. Okay, we have our, our MacGuffin sort of like Mass Effect style. This is how you can understand everybody kind of thing. Gotcha. All right, good, good, good. Um, good, good, good. Uh, let's see. Uh, this... It is even capable of handling Xenos languages up to a point. There may be flaws in translation, but the overall meaning should be clear. Okay. Oh my god, there are eight goddamn voice cha Okay, um... Uh, I want to talk to the sister. He is the head of the Drusian mission on footfall... Uh, uh, Drusian mission on footfall, and one of the most prominent clergymen in the sector, paying him a visit... It's a good thing for any loyal servant of the Emperor to do so. Argenta lowers her eyelashes. I assisted his mission uh, before I joined Lady Theodore on her voyage. I need his blessing to accompany the new rogue trader of the Von Valencius dynasty. If you wish to have me aboard your void ship, I request that we meet with Reverend Ironimus. So, okay. So basically, it seems like I'm trying to get my group kind of on my side with me as I'm taking over the prior uh, rogue trader. Because my, my, my predecessor has died since I'm the new leader. Are you leaving us, Heinrix? The arrangement between the Lord Inquisitor and your predecessor was that I be transported to Footfall and no farther. I dare not take advantage of your generosity and patience any more than I already have rogue trader. Okay. Footfall is just a... What do I need to know about Footfall? I'm kind of curious. It is the largest... Uh, largest port and the trade capital of the Corona, Coronas Expanse. It's a dockyard that will allow us to inspect and repair the Void Ship, and it boasts its own astropathic choir, the com uh, Communications Nexus. Not to mention the... Oh, is this one of my, my Navy captains? He is decorated. He looks a little bit like Admiral Spire. Which is good, because he's a Diva Chan. Not to mention pirate hideouts, smuggler caches, and forts belonging to a dozen gangs, groups, and factions. In the Coronas Expanse, the Imperium relies on this as its outpost. Bridges of Humanity's domain rarely is for symbol in such a world, but so long as the football serves the God Emperor insofar as it can, it will be considered a citadel to the Imperium. Although I have heard that ties it sends are underwhelming to say the least. Due to Footfall's remoteness. I don't know if I should just talk like them as if I'm talking like the tech priest uh, voice in the Night Lord's books. Due to Footfall's remoteness, it has developed its own rules and customs. Many of the goods that can be procured there would be considered heresy in the heart of the Imperium, enough to warrant summary execution. Moreover, Footfall is... <laughs> this is hard. Footfall is the domain of the rogue traders who disregard certain Imperial laws by virtue of the warrant they bear. Okay. Let's let's get let's get going. I I I, I mean, despite wanting to read it all, I would like to pace this properly because we'll be here for two hours. Tell the lady navigator I give her leave to make the transition from warp into real space. Big Dis begins issuing instructions. The massive ship appears to change with her every word. The bridge is set in motion as hundreds of people start to prepare for the shift to real space and measured chanting fills the corridors to safeguard the vessel and its crew. One more thing, Lord Captain. No one at the station knows about Lady Theodora's demise and you inheriting the title. Liege Tokara will be informed. It is required so we can use the dock. And besides, he is expecting a personal audience with the rogue trader, and he will not meet with an unknown person of unclear standing. However, is, there is still the matter of announcing your arrival. You can either arrive on the station with the proper pomp and ceremony, or choose to visit incognito. How will these benefit? According to Footfall's unwritten laws, rogue traders enjoy special privileges that exceed even the power of the liege. 
However, not everyone chooses to take advantage of them, depending on the situation. Arriving incognito will give you more room for maneuver, while an official visit will allow you directly interview in local affairs. I shall explain if you do not mind. According to the unwritten rule, every rogue trader arriving at the station has the right to veto any of the liege's decisions, but there is a catch. The Coronus expands its home to several influential rogue trader dynasties, and footfall is where their interests intersect. Of course, it does not prevent certain persons, namely Caligos Winterscale, God, 40k names, from suddenly pulling the strings in footfall. If you, as a new rogue trader, start your career with an official landing and a parade in your honor, the other dynasties may see this gesture as a newcomer challenging their spheres of influence. I do not see that as a bad thing necessarily. Old man Winterscale may take side offense. Corda will be put on her guard. But you have just risen to prominence, and most people in the corner spans have not even heard about Lady Theodora's departure yet. Must be made clear that the banner of Von Valencia soars as high as ever. If I may, I would recommend arriving incognito. You'll plenty of opportunity to save the sweetness and the burden of power. But right now is the last time you take refuge in the obscurity. Inquisitors very often enjoy going incognito for that purpose of being able to because they're detectives basically but often inquisitors will sometimes declare their arrival to a planet or system specifically to see how the words inquisitorial authority is arriving in your system and how it fucks up the populace do they get scared? Do they get? Do they start frightened? Do, do, the, do the chinks in the armor break? I am gonna go in with pump. I am a new rogue trader, an ex-commissar. That should instill a sense of something. And I'd like to know what it does. We'll be done, Lord Captain. With your gracious permission, I will return to my duties. Oh, shit. Use the system's map in the center of the bridge to issue orders to the crew. Look at my chair! My chair, my dais! Oh my god. And my mustache! Oh, damn, I can move. Look at me go. Look at, look at my running. Oh my god, I, got, okay, I can move through lights. Boat three, do you copy, finish the cleaning, and return to the boarding action? Can I talk to my bridge officer? Vessel stands ready, Lord Captain. Oh, damn. Got a bunch of abilities here, too, and stuff. Okay, okay. Got the giant hollow screen. I just want to look around a little bit. I love the... I love the amount of candles that are on here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, my God. Can I twist? Oh, my God, I can twist. Dude, look at my place. It's got like, oh my God. Oh, 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 please. I have always been known as to be so humble. Truly ima imagine, right? You, you, you're playing the rogue trader game. And then and then some, some animator spent like days and weeks making sure this water looks as good as it does for the random bath, like anime beach episode of a goddamn Imperial trader vessel. And I don't know which one of you did it, but whichever one of you it was, thank you. Regain strength and heal wounds. Time passed. Two days? Wow, I must have been tired. Okay, hello. There's my flagship, the Von Valencius. Let's go to footfall. Oh my god, is this actually what this place looks like? You've basically got uh, the, the phalanx looking kind of void dock and then mixed... Wait, I, I want to back up. Oh my god, it is. It's it's mostly asteroids that have been built and combined together to have multiple... Holy shit. Oh shit, it's my navigator. I want to know more about whoever this is. I want to know more about the navigator. Pascal Hanuman. There's not enough ones and zeros in there. It's a venerable... Mag oh, it's a Magos. Oh shit, they're a high ranking. Okay. Well, I know the Navigator girl is a party member, but it's kind of rare you take a Navigator out to do stuff, you know? So I'm kind of curious. Yo, if I can bang the Navigator, I'm going to, okay? I read the Night Lord books. Septimus is a Chad.
Leisure Representative. Well, the welcome procession is not particularly long, but it does attract attention. Everyone is dressed in their finest apparel, every button gleaming. Standing in front of the others is a woman with clearly expensive implants. Don't, don't chat. Not, no, it's not what you think it is. Implants are bionics. They're bionics. Shut up. Um, she bows in a solemn curtsy. Rogue Trader, Footfall welcomes you. On behalf of the liege, Lord Via Vladim Tokara, allow me to express my joy at your arrival. The liege awaits you at his residence, but should you have other business to conduct in the station, I will be happy to serve as your guide. Cassia is her name. Cassia's lips curl slightly. This is so familiar behind the amber-colored scattering of worlds of welcome, far less appealing hues lurk, murky and diluted. The look of someone accustomed to lying and hiding their intentions. Idara jerks, she a guardsman? Maybe not. Oh no, I think she's a guardsman. I think I see a las gun on the back of her head, back of her um, uh, thing. Jerks her head, shakes and hisses through her teeth. Someone's coming, and they're coming for us. Watch out, Lord Captain. Abelard sighs and casually places a hand on his weapon. Um, who's coming? Why is the warp touching my face? Can the warp stop touching my face? Judging by the voices, there's a lot of them. Angry. They've got teeth. They aren't that sharp. Their strength is their numbers. Is she a psyker? She might be a psyker. Is she a sanctioned psyker? We might have issues. Pray, what are you talking about? What could you mean by such a cryptic pronunciation? She doesn't get to say the rest. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Rip Bozo! Okay. Oh, so they, oh, they have dialogue in-game. Awesome. Okay, so this is our turn-based combat section. It is Idara. Sniper rifle. Frag grenades. On so immediately increased movement points by 6, yet reduces weapon skill, boost skill, and procession by 15. So that's, that's a move instead of other stuff thing. Oh my god, she has so many fucking abilities. Lightning arc. Lightning arc, desperate push. Foreboding. Dodge and parry bonus. Study enemies. Psychic shriek. Oh, I really want to do Psychic Shriek. Okay. So these are my movement area, correct? Let's take let's let's bring her to cover. There is movement in the Empyrean. Okay. Let's lightning bolt some son of a bitch. Is this percentage to hit? These guys are armored. What's Shriek do? Oh wait, what, what, what is this? Misfortune. The flag appears into the future, bringing the worst fates for the target. I want to scream at them. We'll do. That's pretty fun. All right. Foreboding. Peering into the future of an ally, the Psyker is able to see possible outcomes and potential dangers. The timely predictions from the Psyker increases the target's dodge and parry by two. Okay. Let's give that to my... Let's just give it to me. But of course. They say everyone has movement points and action points. Two separate things. Um, sniper rifle cannot be used at the moment, I think. I, all right. So if I want to end my turn, I believe... Ah, uh, space. Space bar. Got it. Ow. Ow. All right, let's see. So we have ourselves Cassia. She's taking damage. Fire grenade is one key point. Okay, 
And then here's the action points. All right, let's get in cover. Push, you have a single shot? All right, let's, uh... No, let's move here. Be careful not to cross my gates. I don't want to throw that fire grenade. Oh my god, yes. I'm not accustomed to being <sighs> around. Oh, my luck right now. <laughs> oh shit. God damn. Okay. Yo, this this combat music is really good. Uh move, move, move. Yo, move, move, move! Let's go! Guard represents! Target ally immediately gains additional movement points equal to the leader's fell bonus. Get back in the fight. Oh, there's just a whole bunch of like guard com commanding orders and stuff. Bring it down. One in the creature with four cells within four cells range. Action bonus, movement bonus. Give it to myself. I am a navigator, not a servitor. All right. I want to stab some son of a bitch. All right. Single. Oh, I have a plasma gun. That's right. Die! Already done. Shit! Get fucked. Alright, it's me again. I need to figure out where the turns end up going. Let's let's stab this man. Uh slash. Oh, too easy. oh my god. One slash, and I got rid of three of his appendages. Voice of command. One friendly cell. Attribute bonus. Leadership fell bonus. Forces an ally to make every effort, increasing their characteristics by five plus two. Oh my god. All right. Let's give it to the sister. Voice of command. And then, yeah. I'm not... Wow, there's, there's, a, there's a lot going on here. I'm, I'm not super familiar with CRPG games. Um, but I am... Wow. There's a lot. Ah, cover. Okay. Let's see. We got a good bolt gun here. See, movement and shooting are very similar, it would seem. Control burst. Burst fire attack with the current weapon. If any of the shots hits an ally, the shot instead misses everyone. Hmm. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Now that's the kind of thing I was hoping to hear. I need targets, not guides. Oh, she's my healer. That is not the Emperor's whip. Oh, yeah, I'm too far away. So she's got lots of command abilities. Ooh, I can dash. As the Emperor commands, I act. Zoom, and then I can give a, a medkit. Greater trials lie ahead. Yo, big pog. Okay. Now, where were we? For one turn, all incoming damage reduces the fighter's. Okay. Wow, my man can fucking move. He has 10 movement points. Oh my god. Victory is imminent. Yeet. Someone else can do this. Holy shit. So the fire's next turn, all incoming attacks deal less damage. The fire's flexion to her higher. I'm just gonna end that for the time being. All right, not too bad. I'm so, you, tech priest, oh, tech priest, tech priest, tech priest. Okay, um, you got yourself a, you got yourself an ax, right? Yeah, yeah. Sup? Oh, nope. Sup, nerd. Manipulator push. Ooh, using mechadendrites, huh? Machine spear communication. 
All creatures within a zero cell radius center the target point within cells. Uh, appears to the machine appeals to the machine spirits above into the area. The recoil reduces by half for the tech priest intellect bonus. Enemy weapons recoil instead increases. Oh, so I can make their weapons worse. Yo, I spoke to your I get shit on. I took zero damage by that guy. I spoke to your gun, and your gun listens to me. All right, Psyker. I suggest you zap him. Will do. That felt, that was really fun. I, I just really wanted to see what that would look like. And it looked exactly what I hoped it would look like. We walked in the fire. Me. This is you, you dingus. Ooh. Lidless stare. The navigator opens their third eye. Oh, that's bad. Anyone gazing into the depths witnesses the power and mind-breaking unreality of the warp. All creatures in a cone suffer damage equal to navigator's WP bonus. On a failed willpower test, they also become stunned for one turn and damage increases doubles. Yeah, um, opening up your eyes is actually pretty fucking nutty, so. That is foolishness. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Gun. Isn't this a job for the isn't this a job for the serfs? Oh no, am I dealing with a goddamn Terran nobility? Pompous ass. Uh, let's see. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. Yeah, I'm insisting. Let's see how they respond to this. All right, I'm expecting plasma power here. All right, yeah, yeah. Suits my, <laughs> Suits my purposes, he says. Fucking right, dies. Now. You know, you you know. Oh shit! Oh wait. You know, you, you've, you've got a good, uh, a good thing of guns, right? Get him, girl. You got one. I'm cool with that. Military excellence. Immediately restores all AP and removes cool... The Power resides in the will of the righteous. Faith without deeds is righteous. <laughs> this sounds good. It's got a good effect to it. As the emperor commands, I ask. Oh my god. She has so many. Hey, what is this? What is this meter? Why is it filling up? I need target. As the Emperor commands, I ask. Oh no, it's not filling up that much. It looks like perils, yeah, I'm a little spooked. That is for the weak. Reloading. Okay, I think I'm out of stuff now. Without deeds is worthless. I'm gonna make a make a quick quick dash. Uh I refuse. And no, actually I think I won't. Okay. What's up, bros? As the Emperor commands, I am. Administration is a holy task. Yo, big lad. All right, my friends. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. I will do my duty. I'm Amanda. Is that a thunder hammer? Or is that a power mall? It's a power mall. Indeed. I took care of this one. <laughs> Anyway, Emperor protect me. They they killed killed every time I warn them and they all go, Dear Emperor, our Lord and Savior, how could this have happened? Who could have thought? <laughs> uh we'll do fear not, young man. Your lordship, these guys were eh, 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 
Anvers. They're a gang. They're the worst, I tell you. Or I'm telling you, they're scared of no one, not even Liege Vadam. He glances, glances around like he expected more bandits to appear. This sort of thing happen. Shooting, yes. Attacks on nobles, not very often. Unless it's the Anvers. They're vicious. Not a week goes by without them killing and gutting somebody. They're wicked he heretics. They respect nothing. They follow no rules. Your life has zero meaning. You serve no purpose. Yes, I'm sorry, your lordship. I'll just go report to the liege. They killed her. They killed my lady. Oh, this is terrible. All right, uh, let's see here. There's a whole book. Can I, can I loot the... Uh... Yo, I got... Oh my god, yes. Collect all, please. What do we got here? We got we got stub carbines, we've got auto guns, we've got axes. Collect all. All right. Yeah, go check out this guard. Yeah, I got my servo skull. Oh my good god. There was a quite a there's quite a lot of stuff. Long live rogue trader, rogue trader Van Valencius, rightful successor to the warrant of trade in the Von Valencius trade empire. Loyal servant to the Imperium man, unvanquished. This is inventory. This is character screen. With features, progression, reputation, and biography. Ah, oh, here we go. Cassia Orcelio is the young heiress of the Navis Nobility. Oh uh, yeah, the Navis yeah, Navis Nobility. Navis Nobility House. A unique navigator gene allows her to guide humankind's voices through the warp, gazing girls through the dust of the sea of souls. Yep, because of the eye. The price of this incredible gift is terrifying mutations that devour the girl's fragile body, further alienating her from man humankind. And just having an assassination attempt on the station Yurak V, <clears throat> Cassia found herself in a rogue trader's crew much sooner. Uh, than her mentors ever expected. Years spent studying to tomes and maps failed to prepare the girl for the challenges of the outside world and of her own navigator house was being torn apart by a power struggle for the Nova Novator's throne. It's about right. Yeah. Navigators are a bunch of political infighting mixed with genetic mutations and, uh, and fancy pantsy houses and that kind of shit. Um, so that sounds about right. I can't believe she's such an insane. So there's four rep reputations. You've got the Drusians, Explor Explorators, Casbalica Missions, and the Fellowship of the Void. Loose alliance of pirate factions. She has career paths, as well as uh, progression for that. And then there's her abilities. Lidless stay. Lots of just leadership abilities, like voice of command, move, 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 etc. Interesting. Pascal and his venerable Magos of the Death Mechanicus for the glory of the machine god Omnissiah. He performs sacred maintenance. Algorithms protect the person. Listen. Da, 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 da. A lot of interesting stuff. Psyker right here. Very casual for a Psyker, I won't lie. E Adira Tilas. Sister Argenta. War him. Sort of momentum equal to the Bow Sisters double blow. So was. Then there's me which I am building my alignment in my history. And then there's Abelard Versian. Huh. What else we have here? These are my quests, rumors, orders. You've got a map, weapon, uh, encyclopedia, and cargo management, ranged weaponry, wave weaponry, armory kit, armor kit, etc. Ah, here we are. The Von Valencius flagship is a uh, 26,000 crew, approximately. Okay, okay. 1.6 kilometers long. So what is that? A, um, like a Corvette? Uh, mightiest void ship. Every system uh, belonging to the Valencius dynasty. Every system aboard the frigate. Uh, frigate. It is a frigate. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I love my little servo skull constantly going around me. Wow, this place has got quite the, uh, quite the overall, like, look, or, uh, amount of stuff going on here. 
this exploratory quest to its Here. multifunctionality. Backman, let's assume that footfall it was assume that footfall would become a wondrous place in the stars. A new challenge for me. Uh, the heart of footfall is a colossal statue of the Emperor car from a single asteroid. Is that real? Wait, you're joking me. You're telling me that that gigantic em Emperor image was actually carved? I thought it was just like, a oh my God. Can I look outside? Ah, darn it. Okay, I hope I can look outside and see the thing. That's fine. We'll keep it inside the, uh, we'll keep it in, in, in the in boundaries. Is that my servo skull? A bunch of dudes got little their lordship. I'm telling you, they're stricken with plague. The whole ship is plagued, says refugees. Drusian preacher, Drusian acolytes. Where should I be going, eh? The world building here is solid. This is this is a really well made. Oh, hello. The buzzing crowd has closed in on several hairy looking people. Some of their faces are smeared with fresh blood. The angry cries and twisted faces leave no doubt. A massacre is about to take place. Just cut their throats already. What uh, were they thinking? Letting that ship dock at footfall? They're all stricken. No, no cutting. We get their blood on us, we'll be tainted too. Better burn them. Some dude's walking. Oh my god. Oh, it's this person. Hier Hieron. Oh, I hate that name. Deloroso. Be quiet, you scoundrel. A priest clad in a simple black raiment and wielding a staff cuts through. Yeah, you think he's a priest? Yeah, what gave you that idea? Cuts through the crowd like a battleship crossing the sky. You dare pass judgment on others? What arrogance to think you have the right. Argenta starts uh, starts at the side of the elderly priest. That's Reverend H uh, Words. I'm surprised he's decided to intervene in a street squabble. I want to be involved. What's going on here? Several dozen gazes bore into you. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Oof. I am a rogue trader. Rogue trader of the Von Valencius dynasty. I am the judge of the worthless and the executioner of cowardice. Which one of you void rats just dared to address me without the proper respect? A concerned citizen and armed one. I suggest you think well before giving me lip. I'm going to pick the lip one. The rabble rouser gives you an appraising look. You got a point there. I wonder if you can back it up. Silence. The priest who has remained silent up to now raises his staff. You you must be completely out of your minds. A band of woefully dim-witted sinners who think themselves bringers of justice. Who are you to pass judgment on anyone? All you ought to be doing is suffering and repenting till the end of your days. And what's so wrong about that, Reverend? We just want to put these heretics to death. We're not heretics of the Hagger Man and the Verge of Tears. We're refugees. I swear on the Golden Throne, we served the Imperium faithfully until they hung us out to dry. Ooh, those words are tough. Where were the protectors that were meant to shield the lands of humanity from nightmares? Traitors. Traitors and heretics, the lot of them. Murmur runs to the crowd. The people gawk at you, at the priests, at the wretched group huddling in the center. How tiring the motley sea of colors that fills this restless crowd is hard on the eyes. So many hues, but there might not be any pink hues. Most of them are acid yellow streaks of fear, their red buds swelling, ready to burst and paint all who are gathered here. Cassia looks at the crowd of troublemakers wearily, and they shudder at the very sight of her. Yep, that's what happens when there's a navigator around. As for the hearts of those who have been forced to defend themselves, they are shrouded in purplish black grief, but their words are as transparent as the ice that lies on, at the top of a glacier. 
Commoners are always deaf to others, suffering, for such is their nature. Interfering in their affairs is hardly worth of you or me, rogue traitor. Okay. Those are serious accusations you're spouting. I hope you approve to back them up. Not the rabble rouse in the crowd. The people before you insult those in stated by the throne to be above them, and thus they deserve death. All onlookers are to return to their homes immediately. The refugees can go to Doc Alpha Row. I will speak to you later. Comply or face the consequences. I am a commissar, so I feel like I can do good coercion. I have coercion plus 60. I want to expand this. I'm, I'm going I'm to try the coercion. Coercion check succeeded. The rabble rouser looks at you morosely. I don't want to get in trouble over this lot. If we just use this interruption to make off in the direction of Doc 1. Let them go. They're running. 69 experience. Nice. Nice. There's the priest. The arrogance and self-righteousness of a sinner. The priest shakes his head disapprovingly, then his eyes shift to you. I am Reverend Hieronymus uh, Dalarasso, head of the Drusian mission here in Footfall. I thank you for stepping in. Please come see me when you have the time we can talk. Man with the face so drawn, it appears to be made of nothing but skin and bone, fixes his unblinking, bird-like eyes on you. The priest's simple black clothes have next to no adornments, and they do nothing to mask his unhealthy gauntness. In a cracked voice, he says, The Emperor protects my son. <laughs> Throw him a couple of coins. A holy man, are you here? Uh, are you? Here, some alms for you. Yeah. <laughs> the Emperor protects, Father. But he protects only those who are pure of heart. Do you think yourself one of them, my son? And you must be the young Von Valencius. That name carries weight. It is a burdensome one, for its reputation suggests that Theodora encumbered it with many a sin. I wonder, will you seek to shed them, or will you carry them onward, picking them along the way like ripe fruit and savoring their sweet poison? Chance 100%. Oh, sick. Make the sign of the Holy Aquila. I think it's the one you do on like, your breastplate like this. I put my faith in the Emperor. Gives you a scrutinizing look, then his tone softens. Well, then be twice as diligent, for this sector will seize any chance to test your faith. He looks at Argenta, who is standing nearby, and his voice softens slightly. Greetings, sister. I congratulate you on your return. Was your pilgrimage fruitful? Oh my gosh, she's all the way back there. I should have moved her over. It was, Reverend. Let it be known to you that Theodora von Valencia's ship was attacked by servants of the Arch Enemy, which I'm assuming are servants of Chaos. Yes. Who appall the heart of any righteous soul, she says, nearly hissing with fury. And not all of them met a fitting end. Some fled, and more than that, their blasphemous words clearly point to this attack being part of a larger design. She says, she's just yelling from really far away. Reverend Iernimus, I wish to join the esteemed rogue traders crew and help protect the Von Valencius dynasty from the forces of chaos. I therefore ask you to relieve me of my duties as the guardian of the footfall reliquary. Argenta humbly bows her head, but her shoulders are tense. I second this plea, Sister Argenta stood by my side during the assault on the ship, and I could use her assistance going forward. That's a thought. I cannot oppose the will of a righteous heart that wishes to bring its wrath upon the servants of the arch enemy. Follow the call of your soul, sister. The footfall reliquary will be preserved even without your contribution, as it was in all the years preceding your arrival. I know what it is that it calls you to follow the rogue trigger sister in Argenta. You seek combat, for it helps you to forget how hollow and worthless our lives truly are. It offers the illusion of meaning. Perhaps you will relinquish this illusion one day, or perhaps you will die before that day comes. Regardless, I wish you luck on your new path. You start on that path toward your new destiny. I have a request to make you, uh, of you and your companion. Many among my flock are from the poorest, most dispo disposed, dispossessed, sorry, 
People of Footfall, they have brought me troubling news from Footfall's shadow quarters. In the darkest corners where the Legion's guards do not venture, Taint has taken root. Consumed by Sim, but even here, true heresy. Serving the arch enemy is a rarity. The cultists who now dwell in the shadow quarters mark their abodes with a sun inscribed in blue and gold and perform strange rituals in secret. The weak find solace in believing these reports to be rumors, but I will but I well know that evil lurks around us, and I wish to see retribution. Blue and gold. Blue and gold is normally Thousand Suns, but uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, we will verify this rumor. With great pleasure, says uh, Jenna puts her hand on the stock of her weapon. I almost wish for the rumor to be true. My heart yearns to battle some heretics. Yeah, this is a sister, all right. You goodbye, sister, noble rogue traders. Is there anything more you wish to talk about? Not at the current moment. I'd like to walk around and talk to the liege lady. You know, call me crazy, but I think this might be the direction towards the liege. Ah, here we are, the liege. Victory awaits. Vlad Yo, those goggles, though. My patience. You remember the way out. Dismissed. The tall man in austere gray clothes makes a show of looking past the woman he's addressing. Yo, Jay kind of bad, though. Vladame, Vladame, Vladame. What Ozzy puts some harsh... Ozzy? Ozzy? Put some harsh words in your mouth. You talk like you're an imperial clerk, not one of us. The woman who is standing with her back to you lets out an ostentious, ostentatious sigh. Then her tone changes dramatically. Where's my cargo, Vladame? Falco has, doesn't he? So that's how you do business with your old friends these days. So you don't remember. So you don't remember. Then the help will remind you. Guards escort her out. Hey, Dari, move. The massive guard leans down to the woman and says in a lowered voice, Jay, get going while he's letting you. Go drown your sorrows at the Amasicus and thank your Amos, Amosus, Amogus, and thank your lucky stars you were able to walk out the door. You won't get the chance next time. Persona non grata. Find the disgraced stranger in the Adeptus Amasicus, Amasicus bar. First an insult, and now threats. I see courtesy and tact are no longer a value commodity on Footfall. Oh, well, I'll find myself a better deal. Turns on her heel and heads towards the exit. As she passes you by, she gives you a quick once over, winks at you, then immediately turns away with a flip of her jet black hair. The tall man, who has long since noticed your presence, is studying you intently. La Dame Takara, liege of Footfall. Let us please proceed to my office. A spread befitting a visitor of your rank is waiting. Your entourage will be accommodated nearby. I'll say yes. Please follow me. Item lost. Chainsaw, plaza pistol, armor, body glove. Well, you are engaged in small talk. You get a chance to take the measure of liege to Kara. His expression is aloof and focused. His gestures curt and firm. And his speech calm and quiet. As though he is used to people always listening to what he says, judging by his observant gaze, he has been studying you in turn this whole time. Vladeim straightens his in his chair and says in a polite but completely different tone, let's talk business. On behalf of the elite of Footfall Station, I offer you my condolences, Lord Von Valancius. We mourn Lady Theodora's loss and we hope this sentiment is taken as a sign of our good intentions and willingness to Operate. I'll be nice. I hope that you that under your guidance, the dynasty can recover from this blow and attain even greater power. It was a bold move on your part to announce yourself as the new rogue trader of the Von Valencius dynasty, despite not yet having your status confirmed by anyone of import from the Imperium. I appreciate such traits in people. It's good to understand who you're dealing with. As you may have noticed, football is currently in a state of crisis. 
if its people would benefit from the patronage of a figure such as yourself. I was attacked right at the docks. An outrageous stunt, a show of disrespect for both you and me. Sadly, such incidents on football are akin to natural disasters, impossible to predict or preempt. They simply happen. Many consider football to be a pirate den, but believe me when I say that there is a difference between organized crime and gangs of thugs who have nothing to lose. You were attacked by the latter. The Envers are a gang of punks who spit on our customs and hierarchy. Even their leader is more akin to an ideologue, a rabble rouser who shouts, go on, go on, not a commander. Sooner or later, he will, he will, well, blah, we will find him and have him strung up. I will likely cool his followers further. I would like to know more about this Anvers gang. How come they haven't yet been dealt with? He grits his teeth slightly before answering. I've been using all my resources to delay the moment when the station is hit by famine. I haven't gone around to the Anvers yet. As detrimental as they are, they're no players. Their leader is more of a troublemaker than a gang leader with a plan and ambitions. They don't issue orders, they merely incite slaughter and robberies. When that void rat dies, the rest will scatter. What? Your words seem to perplex him for a moment, but his face remains cold. Oh, that. Yes, her death was a regrettable development. Who was that lady you threw out? La Dame's expression hardens and he makes a frustrated gesture. A dead woman walking. Some, however, still call her Jay Heydari. A small time hustler with big ambitions that will lead her to a sticky end. Lore Imperium checks succeed him. It's strange. A small-time hustler, even a particularly audacious one, wouldn't likely quarrel in public with as vigorous as important as the Liege of Footfall. It seems stranger still that the Liege knows this, uh, this small fry by name. That's fucking cool, because I understand how the Imperium works from like a lore perspective. I know that he's not telling the truth. He's downplaying the situation heavily. Ah. That's cool. That's fucking cool. I would have never even known that was a lore check to even be had. But since I had it, we're here. She is irrelevant. Since I'm the one in control of the situation on Footfall, I can speak on behalf of all of its noteworthy residents. What sort of patronage do you seek from me? Protection. Not military protection, but a different kind of security. You have, of course, already encountered difficulties with warp navigation on your way here. I'm afraid the scope of these difficulties extends far beyond this area. Reports of disrupted routes and ships vanishing during short jumps are coming in from across the entire section sector. Hidden checks aren't a new thing. I don't play CRPGs. This is new to me. I wonder if they're referring to the Sycadrix Maledictum here. Communication with the uh, Calixus sector has been extremely unstable. Of the ships that have dived into the into the ma, the ma? A turbulent region of space that divides the Cronus expanse from the rest of the Imperium of Man. That might be what they're referring to in terms of... Uh, that could be their word for the Sycadrix Maledictum. Everyone has their own word for the the rip in the uh, the the rip in the in the galaxy currently. Um, the visits we've had from the other side have also been suspiciously few in number. The last ship that came through the Maw was struck by a temporal anomaly. The jump took almost two decades in real space time. Lorik succeeded. You've uh, heard of periods of warp instability, including cases where the Maw would become completely inaccessible for navigation for years on end. Yep, yep, yep. That sounds about right. And this brings up our main issue. Footfall is a repair shipyard and a trading post. We barely produce anything ourselves and are largely dependent on incoming shipments, especially food shipments. The station naturally has some reserves, but the ha supply issues didn't start yesterday. Footfall would be obliged if House of Valencia's would assist us in signing a contract Food deliveries. I can't be the only one I've asked you've asked for help. <coughs> Naturally, I've tried contacting other rogue traders, but the terms of House Corda 
on a bled footfall dry. Instead of a food shipment from him. Oh, so the esteemed other rogue trader, Caligos Winterscale, instead of food, received a refugee thing from them. I had to send them off to Fausto. So many extra mouths to feed would have only worsened the crisis further. I suppose all these war fluctuations have created more pressing concerns for Lord Winterscale. And so I put my faith in you, third and last of Footfall's allies. Interesting, interesting. It's simple. Delivery of food shipments from your fertile worlds, Yanis, I imagine, I'm quite familiar with the jewel of the Von Valencia's empire, in exchange for fair payment. Okay, so you need food from me and my worlds in exchange for, well, naturally money. Get on your knees and ask properly, then I will help. Holy hell, dude. I like two. Why would Fafal agree to such a deal? By accepting it, we would anger the esteemed Incendia Corda without gaining anything. Let's discuss a more realistic prospect for partnership. Mm. Fine. That may, have been, that may have worked if I had maybe some kind of like persuasion. Hmm. Yeah, where does one go to make deals in the station? Here, I am the main dealer on the station, and it'll be disrespectful to uh, me to suggest that you take your business to fulfill traders of lesser importance. Okay, so that, that's a non-answer. So you might take an interest in a few people of note. For example, Reverend, the Reverend, yep. Uh, Servants of Ecclesiarchy. Looking for goods that can uh, entertain you. Find Oct Octaviana. Holy shit, she survived the Night Lord's books. Let's go. The establishment called the Adeptus Amasicus. Oh, okay. The chemical bliss that she offers is refined and possesses a satisfactory degree of impurity. Just don't ask her to pour you her signature drink. It's meant for common football rabble, not discerning clientele. Bullshit. I want that drink. Huh. So I can buy myself a, a greater chain, a elite chain sword or a Drukari fucking pistol. Um, and I can't reach this until I've got 10,000 RP, um, which I currently have zero. I sold two things of melee weapons and I said I got, where, where, where is, ah, oh, here it is. I'm assuming this is the reputation meter down here. I want the chain sword. Mine. Okay. It's, there's, there's a lot going on right now that I'm, I'm getting used to because I don't play CRPGs. So this is a whole brand new thing to me. Wow. A well-groomed young man calls out to you. He is clean shaven and dressed in clothes that are expensive but unshowy. The bright Aquila embroidered in a prominent spot. Your Lordship, I humbly ask you a, for a minute of your time. I am Bastion in Dorama Bastal Corda, youngest cousin of House Corda, envoy of Incendia Best. Oh my god, he sounds like the knight from Shoes, Blood, and Teeth. Rogue trader of the Corinth's Expanse by the grace of the Holy Emperor. Corda, hmm? They are some of the most influential rogue traders in the Corinth's Expanse, but not on footfall. The station is under the control of House Winterscale. Something tells me that we are about to hear a most curious offer. What do you wish to speak to me about? Of utmost delicacy. You see, you've been to the residence of the liege. The dame almost certainly appealed to you for assistance in the arrangement of shipments to footfall. Of Valencia's trade empire is famed for the abundance of its main agro world. Yeah, no, of course, of course. I'm, I love food. Hmm. All right, so... The main guy wants a better deal from me instead of them. They want me to refuse the guy, let them take the contract, and therefore I get a cut. The Emperor's most loyal servants should be more concerned with carrying his will to the stars and less with div divvying up profit among themselves. Argenta says disapprovingly, but quietly enough as to not interrupt the negotiations. <laughs> oh, sisters of battle. Behind your smile, Master Bastine, teal shadows swirl. Others may not see them, but your worry cannot escape my eye. What are you afraid of? Your house's wrath 
Should these negotiations prove fruitless or the wrath of House Von Valencius? Idara, who was yawning in boredom a moment ago, flinches and clutches her face with fi her fingernails digging into her skin. They're coming again, brothers of the ones who came before. I just don't get it. Do they all have a death wish? I appreciate the warning, I dare. Ash Bastian stares in surprise, then turns around. Is he about to get shot? Death to off-worlders! <laughs> ah! Oh my god, he's in half! Submit and you'll die quickly! Cross them! Alright, let's see. We're gonna need a couple of shots. I have a sniper rifle, right? Precise shot, you. On it. That's fucking nice. That is not my destiny. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. Uh, bonus for my guys here. Do. That's so cool looking. All right, big man. We need we need you to get into cover and get a good shot. I say go here. A well-groomed young man calls out to you. He is clean-shaven and dressed in clothes that are expensive. Oh my god. That's a bug. That's a bug. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I it, it's an alpha. It's totally fine. I thought I thought they were gonna pl try to play that thing where he got hurt, but he's like, Rogue Trader, please, I need to tell you something. But, but like, I thought that his death animation would be like a, a, a prerequisite one, so he would, never mind, it's fine. I don't have to stop in chat. I'm sorry, that was so funny. Is he gonna get shot again? No, we're good. Okay, that's so funny. It's all right. It, it is what it is. Um, plasma overcharge shot. Yeah, yeah. AOE blast. All too easy. Isn't standard shots. Absolutely not. you suits my purposes a voice of command makes an ally make every effort increasing their characteristics by five plus two times leadership fell but oh their characteristics oh that's really good wow <laughs> loser that missed hard too okay uh let's see here where are we looking a sister always needs to get close You. Hmm. War him. Restore momentum equal to the battle sister's doubled uh, WP bonus. Each enemy within five race gains additional momentum equal to the bonus. Ah, uh, it's a momentum thing. Hmm. Now nah, I'm just gonna start taking some shots. You. I'll do it. Oh my god. I'll do it. Oh yeah, I'm getting her up and in cover. She's gonna hurt someone next turn. Mechanicus, friend. Activate calculated fury algorithm. Calculate these cock and balls, dude. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Oh right, it's a cone. I just opened my third eye to a couple people. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Oh my god. Yo, this guy is moving. The tactics are the best ones. At your beck and call. 
taunting scream. After killing an enemy with or dealing righteous fury with a melee attack, the fighter screams at their enemies to become the priority target for those who fail a willpower test. It will be done. That's so funny. Okay. What's this? Forceful strikes. Fire's next melee attack has a greater chance to knock down an enemy. No, that's fine. I don't really need that. Endure. Until the fire's next turn, all incoming attacks deal less than. Yep. Victory is imminent. Excellent. Lol. Lamau. They are bunching up. Someone's about to have a bad life. <laughs> Idiot. It's <laughs> zero damage. Oh, cool, guard. Yeah, the guard can get hit, that's fine. All right. I have an idea. Where's our sister? Can I give her move, move, move? No, she's not a commander. She has like lightning and shit. You. Oh, 0% chance. Wait, does percent chance matter? They're dead. Ow. Duty go hand in hand. So this guy's a buffer, right? Precision strike. The end that makes a single shot or melee attack against the studied enemy. This attack get oh, a studied enemy. I need to study them then. Hmm. We're in a good spot though. I'll probably take this guy out with a plasma shot. Shit. Ah, here he is. Study defenses. Alright, ah, he's too far away. It's fine. We'll get there later. We'll just take a nice shot, yeah? All right, boys. Let's have our good times, yeah? Let the good times roll. I will do my duty. <laughs> That's not the Seneschal's job. It will be done. Oh, I think move, move, move removes removes their ability next turn. I think that's what that does because that's kind of what it does in game, like like uh, forty in like uh, the tabletop games. So that makes sense. Yo, he's he's sliding. Get him, guard. <laughs> Gave him that fucking Kentucky Fried crack. Nice try, idiot. All right. Let's see. Let's get you over there. I think it's chain lightning time, yeah? Anything else? Be calm. Wow, that did so much. Da that killed two people. Didn't even have line of sight. Holy shit. Tactics are flawless. Already the Emperor demands it. Ah, another clean strike. Die, die, die. That did a lot of damage. Listen, I'm just saying. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. Faith without deeds is worth <laughs> Do it. Heavy is the tread of his faithful. 
All right, you think you can make this shot, buddy? Could you imagine how fucking terrifying that would be? Okay, so what is this? This is the heroic act, right? They all have one. The adept immediately grasped the nature of the studied target, applying the double effects of study target and all adept's talents. Dodge negation, armor penetration, weapon skill against the targets. So it's like it's like a mega debuff slash buff, yeah? I love how the tech priest's mega action is to study someone. How incredibly typical. All right, this this guy has been a giga chad. My place is at the fall. This guy moves so fast. Yo, melt a gun. You want to give it? I think you want to give it. Indeed. <laughs> wow, that was loud. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna go back to work, yeah? We're just gonna chill. We're just gonna, we're just gonna just gonna relax, yeah? Yo, oh, give me give me the loot. A note from the set of the body of one of the leaders mentions section two. One of them mentions section two, huh? A new particularly aggressive gang has set up the shop in footfall showing no fear. Right, that was those people. Find out more about the strange gang. It is worth taking a closer look at the belongings of those killed by the Anvers searching for their evidence. The Anvers' brazen actions guarantee they will give themselves away sooner or later. Note found, section two. So I need to look for section two, yeah? Hmm. Perhaps we can check out over here and see what's up. There's a lot of soldiers over here. Low hum of voices quiets, and the dozen gazes shift to you. A tall man with a shaved head is rubbing his hands together nervously. His opulent clothes are nearly bursting at the seams of his muscular body. His expression is forbiddingly grim. Still, he's trying to put an air of friendliness. Greetings! You must be... Lord Vaughn Valencius, your lordship. I heard about your arrival on Footfall, of course, and about Lady Theodora's passing, but I wasn't told... You're not on the list. He stops. That's not a problem, of course. Please, come in. Chaplain is about to begin. Ah, but we are waiting for one more attendee to arrive. Fidelio. Fidelio. Without Fidelio, it's all been for nothing. Mumbling, the man excuses himself and joins the other attendees. Oh, our mud. There's someone in a coffin. Which is, which is pretty common, I must say. Awareness checks to see him. You catch a sight of something odd before stepping away from you. The man gestures subtly to a nearby servitor, giving it some kind of command. The servitor quickly removes the bottles of Amasek and glasses set out for the attendees from a nearby table. Awareness checks succeed him. The gathering you found yourself at seems refined and respectable at first, respectable at first glance. The decorations in the attendees' clothes speak of wealth, and so does the location, which isn't far from the Liege's residence. But you notice that most of those gathered are of rather imposing physique. Many of them have scars and military-grade implants. Several of the guests look like they are covering the exit. Few are clearly carrying concealed weapons. Join the attendees. I want to see what this is about. Can't save. Come on, everybody. They would be insane to fire upon us with our Psyker, Magos, and Adeptus Sororitus. <clears throat> oh, what a terrible day. We pay our respects to the life and soul of Footfall Society, a loyal servant of the Imperium, a generous benefactor who spared no expense to keep the fire of faith burning and an example to all future generations the most noble and unforgettable master bellardo this loss the fuzzy administrative clerk speaks in a strained voice and keeps peeking at paper with text on it his speech drags on and on blending onto a monotonous cascade of praises of the late master bellardo time passed 20 minutes 
So let us offer a prayer to the Emperor for the repose of Master Bellardo's soul and the prosperity of his heirs. I now pass you over to our most reverend chaplain. A formidable looking man dressed in the attire of an ecclesiarchy, ecclesiarchy missionary glares at the gathered crowd. And here you all are, you vultures. Let's offer a prayer then. But if you think that the emperor or the messenger of his will, in other words, myself, does not see into your vile souls, you are sorely mistaken. Chaplain looks at you and gives you a slight nod. I wasn't referring to our esteemed guests, but the rest of you, I know all too well. So go ahead, pray for Bellardo's, that name, soul. Soon the flames will take him, a fitting end for a life like his. May the emperor keep his soul. That another word shall makes the sign of the Aquila and pointedly turns away from the attendees. I'll lay claim to the stars. Whoever prepared the body of the gray-haired man lying in the coffin, they did a good job. Even in death, he looks magnificent. Maintains a grave expression befitting the occasion. Until he sees the face of the deceased, he frowns. He peers at it with suspicion, and then he gasps, astonished, almost dazed. I'll be... This is quite the meeting, if it can be called such, under the circumstances. The implants left in the deceased body speak of his high standing. Expensive tech is typically extracted from the dead, and only the most prominent and wealthy avoid this fate upon their death. Yeah, normally good, good implants are very pricey. This dude up here is just chugging away at that bottle of drink. Do I? I would tell you all about this man, but the words I'd use would be improper for a funeral. This, your lordship, is Jerry Can Dens Nuts. Just kidding, it's just Jerry Can Dens. Um, known back in the day as one of the most notorious pirates in the Coronas expense. They nicknamed him Jerry Can for his habit of having a jug or two of Prometheum on hand. He did love burning things. Oh yes, he was a menace back then. How long ago was it? 60 years ago? I was serving my last days in the Navy when news came of his latest attack. Lord Deeds. Well, well. There was a time when the sight of Jerry Cannon in a coffin would have been enough to make me dance. Quite literally. By the throne, I would have danced a jig on the spot. But now, I don't know. No more jumping into the warp right, after, right from under the cruiser's nose. Hey, you old beast. Would have thought I'd be at your funeral. Very grand for a pirate's funeral, yeah. Folks on footfalls are known to turn a blind eye to many things, but even the locals aren't so unscrupulous as to honor pirate scum. Pieces away from the lieges, uh... What were they calling him? Master Bellardo? I was mentioned the name Master Bellardo as one of the biggest donors to the temple. Oh, yeah, he did mention that. Master Bellardo, one of the largest donor. Oh, my. Wait, that's a good point. I want to go talk to the Ecclesiarch. Or whatever his name is. Emperor protects my son. Uh, let's. I want to talk about. Is it true that the pirate Dens Bellardo was your parishioner and that he endowed the Drusians with donations? It is. Over the course of his life, that, that retro bait had burdened his soul with many vile and egregious sins. His confessions were akin to a grand catechism listing humankind's imminent vices and enormities. It was all the more painful for him to realize that, of all the heinous acts he had committed, not one had been forgotten by the Emperor. Dens Bellardo was afraid of death and that which would await him after. He hoped to atone for his misdeeds, yearned to convince, if not the Emperor, then himself at least, that he had been more than a conscious speck of malignant mold his entire life. The only thing more powerful in the world of 40k than faith is cash. And it is true for sinners above all others. The greater the transgression, the more miraculous and wondrous the repentance. Okay. Okay, so let's go to the Shadow Quarters. 
Are those landmines? Ah. Oh, yes, the infected people. Oh, goody. Oh, the rising sun symbol seems oddly repulsive, even sinister. That does look a little Zinchian. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's a flamer like that, you idiot. You're almost refueled here. He we'll show you how it's done. It's not feeling it anymore. It's all the guy is pretty much a cinder now. It was a lot more fun when he was alive and thrashing about. Oh, goody. Excellent. Hold on. I want to go. Ch I want to go chat with our friends. What's up, dude? Take a knee and bow before me. Look I'll at turn you into corpse start. Look at that. Here comes another training target for us. Fire it up, you lot. Oh, I got the psyker first. Excellent. God, they are just running at me, throwing grenades. I, I can't. Oh my God, I can't leave. <laughs> I just happen to be bundled up in the beginning, and they're just running and throwing grenades at me. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> How do I retreat? How do I run away? I have read tomes of military tactics. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Yeah, okay, whatever, bitch. Let me just please. Oh my god, they have like nine thug turns before I even get a turn. Well, I think I'm about. Oh my god, there's so many enemies! Oh, well, I've. This is a party wipe. It's your boys' first party wipe. Let's go! Let's go! First party wipe chat. Let's hit it! Woo! All right. Oh, what a nice formation. Oh my God. The guy has a thunder hammer. Yep. All right. There's all those people again. Doot, doot, doot. We're going to save our game. And we are not going to deal. Okay. Never mind. This is a dead end. I will take you down. Oh hey, I get first turn. Wait a second, this might actually be usable. Be careful not to cross my gaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Me. You insist, Lord Captain. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, uh, let's see here. The target ally immediately gains a bonus turn, which no move points action with no move points and action points equal to bonus to by two. Now it's under voice command effect they get an additional uh, kill an enemy. Let's I'm do that. Because then I can actually shoot a guy again. 
Damn it. I thought I could maybe hit it. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see here. That is foolishness. It is? Okay. Tech Priest, Tech Priest, Tech Priest. Overcharge, AoE, Plasma Gunshot. Cool, killed one, did some more to someone else. Where's that big boy? You are being studied, sir. <laughs> Try it, idiot. Oh. Okay, he has a thunder hammer, this could hurt. That did hurt. Okay, that works. I'm working on it. <gasps> Ooh, the Melza gun. Oh, so this guy, this guy moves too. Victory is imminent. <laughs> Can I fall back now? The fire grenades. It's nice that they're that they have pretty they have pretty middling range, which is good. Their accuracy sucks this far away. You stop frighten me. Okay. I would like to not walk in that fire, but I'm gonna have to at least a little bit. Ow! AoE burst or or supercharged shot again. Oh, I can't do the supercharged shot against him. AoE burst it is. Okay. The leader finds the area that needs to be captured in one turn. First successful attack of an ally within the area does not spend AP or trigger weapon cooldowns. Oh my God. Wait, wow, that's actually insanely good. What the fuck? Okay. I'll bring glory to my bloodline. So I need to be there then. Nothing I can't do. Good to know. Curse you, miscreant. Sorry. How dare you? Hmm. Let's bring it down. That's right. Uh, Me? let's take him out. Oh, nice. Ow. 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 They, they, got, they got that stanky gas up there. All right, uh, melt a gun, please die. I have done it. He is most certainly dead. Okay. I'm out of movement points after that. That's fine. He probably won't hit me. Okay, he did. Okay, I, I think the tech priest has some level of armor. Which is very handy. Die, die, die. Oof, that hurt. I'm actually shocked my tech priest is this tanky. Not upset by it at all, but shocked. All right, listen, I'm, I don't I, listen. I'm sorry, Idira, but um. This is just gonna have to happen. If I may, I feel cold. Thanks. At your back and call. So far, this melted gun has by far been the strongest aspect. Indeed. Bastards. I should really get out of the uh okay the other guy died let's go get get myself out of the damn stank gas please hey let's do the, this uh uber mega overcharge plasma shot yeah suits my purposes that was not as loud as i thought it was gonna be battlefields are always drowned in scarlet that's cool Me? please kill if you insist, lord captain I've 
There's some workers and stuff. Oh, here it is. The Adeptus oh, uh, that, that place I was looking for. Oh, yeah. We should really take that Thunder Hammer. Ooh, waitresses. And also the suspicious type, as they say. Let's chat with the suspicious type. Stand in my way. Maybe not. Where is what's her buckets? Oh, here's the named person, Gorday Skatov. Skat Skatov. The flabby man. Well, fucking hell. In worn clothes, is sighing sadly over a glass of murky booze. Only when it looks up at you do you notice his eyes, large, piercing, and full of sorrow, a stark contrast to his unkempt appearance. Could it be that someone actually wishes to keep me company? Takes a closer look at you. Not just someone, it's Lord Von Valencius himself. Yours is an ancient and glorious line, your lordship. A number of magnificent structures built on your ancestors' orders, both for defense and decorative purposes. Remain in the Scarus sector. They keep your dynasty's memory alive, despite the fact that it has long since focused its endeavors in a different sector. Allow me to introduce myself, Gorde Skatov, architectural historian. I have to go. Good luck to you. I want to find that one lady. Jay, I think was her name. She said, Oh, there she is. Okay. I won't tolerate weakness. Oh, there's the Octav uh, Octaviana person. Rough day, you have no idea. I just might. That's the second bottle you've downed. While standing up, no, uh, uh, say, uh, words are hard. I'm sorry. Ta, 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 ta. Jay Hadar, Braska sends his regards. And what does that unholy scion of a Grox and Bra want from me? Damn. Grox and Brahan. Damn. Right and not only did she hit them with a tea bag before, she still got two headshots in. What a mess. Octi, Shireen, light of my eyes. Can't you see my soul is full of sadness? Have you no hearts at all? Let go of your material concerns and let me grieve in peace. Let's see. The brunette looks at you with the glassy eyes of a drunk, and you notice the two empty balls that she had uh, been keeping her company before you arrived. She looks completely out of place in this dingy, smoky bar. The fancy attire, the abundance of jewelry, the implants plated with precious metals. Her appearance not only screams wealth, but also audacity, for only an audacious person would flaunt their wealth in a place like this. She smiles somewhat groggily as she examines you over the glass that is raised to her lips. Greetings, Serene. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Rogue Trader, Rogue Trader, Von Valencius. <laughs> oh, it's me, Rogue Trader, Rogue Trader. The woman, after taking a sip from her glass, chokes and quickly clears her throat. Rogue Trader, Rogue Trader, Von Valencius. My deepest, humblest regards. Your Lordship, I would never would have imagined I'd be standing at the bar in the Amasicus next to an honest to the exalted one rogue trader. It's me. I'm Mr. Rogue Trader from Warhammer 40,000. Jay Hidari, at your service. Professional trader, shrewd commercial broker, and may Ozzy steal my tongue if I'm lying. The most honest dealer on footfall. Nonetheless, we have our problems, and at times, even one's many merits aren't enough to solve them. Perhaps it would be no trouble for a person with your kind of power and standing to assist them with my kind of predicament? You see, Shireen, there's one cardinal rule of footfall. Anything goes as long as it doesn't get in the way of business. I'm someone who's been able to exploit that rule to the fullest, and in recent years, I've hit it so big that I've become a speck of sand in someone's green eye. They used to throw small wrenches into my dealings here and there, but now they decide to really put their backs into it. Some rats stolen my cargo, right out from under my nose, in the seediest part of the Shadow Quarters. A crummy place, even connoisseurs of Footfall's unique 
atmosphere. When I asked the liege for protection, we had a mutual misunderstanding. I believe that Vladaim, in a most lamentable fashion, has forgotten his duties as guardian of the downtrodden and wronged. So I'm in desperate need of a new one. And you, Shireen, fit the bill perfect. All I need is for you to drop by one dark corner of Footfall Shadow Chorus and pound it into the thieves' heads that taking Hadari's property carries certain risks. What can you offer in terms of payment? I'm sure that my personal means can't compare to yours, Shireen, so I can't interest you with money. I can, however, offer you something else. My boundless knowledge. I was hoping for sex. Surely you will appreciate the services of an expert on trading operations. Where I'm from, they call this kind of deal wisdom selling. The shadow broker, as they say. And one or the, on top of my personal talents and insight, I have at my disposal a whole network of schooled brokers ready to procure anything from anywhere at the snap of a finger. Be it from any world, the, the webway. Or, may these all to one preserve from the schemes of enemies, the warp itself. That's even worse! Sister! Sister! Have words with this thieven! thieven. I'm starting to like her, says the unsanctioned psyker. You mean to burn my bridges with Vatalaim too? This bitch has got more red flags than the Communist Chinese Party! Shireen, let's be real here. The Legion of Footfall would never dare criticize a rogue traitor. Your name is the best possible shield for both you and me. <sighs> fine. Fine, fine. Very well. May the Exalted One bless you and your pro progeny. Jay instantly pulls out a data slate and shows you a map of Footfall. And here's what we'll do. We shouldn't be seen together before we make it to the safe house. I'll head there first. I'll take my own special route so I won't be spotted. Right here, that's where those ash mags are keeping the stolen cargo. Out of the bar, over the bridge, and to the left, there. In the depths, you'll find a small courtyard through which you can get to the place. I'll be waiting nearby. You can come when it suits you, but the sooner you do, the better. I'll see you then, sure. Whew. Okay. Wow. That was a lot. So much effort has been put into properly making this place look just, just like thick with effort. <gasps> was that supposed to happen? What? Never doubt me. <laughs> that may have just been a bug, but that was fucking hilarious. Please keep that in the game. If <laughs> please keep that in the game. If that if that's uh <laughs> was a bug, that's not a bug. If I recall correctly, he just burst it into meat. 